All right, hello everyone. This is your friendly librarian Jason, and I am just going to make sure that everybody knows how to access Yahoo Finance. This one you do not have to access through the library homepage. It is not a paid library database. This is actually a free over the web resource. So you usually should be able to type in finance.yahoo.com or if you are in Google you can just do the Yahoo Finance thing here and that will bring you here so there are a few questions on your library worksheet that you will need Yahoo Finance in order to answer or that Yahoo Finance would be the best solution for answering so for instance let's say that I'm doing is my company Rockwell Automation I'm going to put in their ticker symbol, which is ROK, and then I'm going to click this here. And I am brought here. Um, so, for instance, if you are asked for a beta, you will actually find that on this main summary page. If you scroll down, you'll see things like previous close, the open, uh, market cap, and here is your beta right here. Now, this will not define beta for you, but you should be able to find the definition for beta from some reliable resources online. And then if you were looking for something like a previous close price or a closing price from a specific date, of course, your previous close is here. But if you're looking for a specific date, then what you can do is go to historical data here. And you will see uh, I'm actually recording this on May the 31st. So my previous close was the May the 30th close. And so I've got a close here and an adjusted close here. Now, when I say that, what I mean is even though I am recording this on May the 31st, there is a May the 31st here, but right now it's roughly 930 in the morning and so this close is likely to change hopefully it will change but what you have here for the previous day's close on May the 30th should be locked in and so you can get your historical data going down and down and down this way so what I would do is I would encourage you guys to just kind of explore Yahoo Finance as well as exploring the other uh, well, exploring the library databases just so that you can get a clear picture on what Yahoo Finance offers because this is a wonderful resource and you will still have access to it after you graduate, whereas you will lose access to a lot of the library databases that your tuition dollars pay for once you graduate from Coastal Carolina. All right, everyone. Good luck, and again, if you need to reach out to me, my email address is jalston at coastal.edu. My phone number is 349-2285. Uh, That's 349-2285. Have a good one.